Another rapidly rising young comedian is here just for laughs. Meet Jay Leno. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm uh, originally uh, from the United States. Do we have any United States people here tonight? Ah, <laughs> oh, what a small world. Isn't that funny? <laughs> you know, this is such a strange business. Because people always come up to me and they always say, like, how did you get started telling jokes? How did you get started, you know, doing comedy? I got started, I think, the way most of the comedians got started. I remember I was in school one day. The teacher said to me, if it's so funny, Mr. Leno, why don't you stand up and do it for the entire class? I got up one day, did about 10 minutes. Pretty soon the teacher's charging five dollar cover, two drink minimum. <laughs> See, I grew up in Boston. Those of you that uh, don't know Boston, ah, well, you can tell the other people then. Boston is a big college town. See, so a lot of people think it's very hip, very liberal, very permissive. And it is in a lot of ways except one. Like where I went to college in Boston, this is true. You could have girls in your room, could have liquor in your room, could have drugs in your room 24 hours a day if you wanted to. There's only one thing you weren't allowed the entire college. That was a hot plate. <laughs> Very strange set of standards. I'm back to my room one day. My roommate, his girl, her roommate, lying on the bed. Five joints in his mouth, empty bottle of apple wine on the floor, passed out cold. Figured I'd do a little studying. Studying about 10 minutes, sneak out my hot plate, decide to cook some soup, hear a knock at the door. <laughs> What's going on in there? <laughs> uh, nothing, sir, nothing. <laughs> you got soup in there? <laughs> I know, so all we got in here is liquor and drugs. Don't lie to me, son. I know you have soup in there. <laughs> I was a philosophy major for four years in college. Had dreams of opening a little philosophy shop when I got out. <laughs> Life is a cookie. Five dollars. <laughs> Big movies now are that Close Encounter of the Third Kind and Star Wars and the UFO movie. You know there's gonna be a lot of things coming down about UFOs. See, I always wonder, why is it that UFOs never land at MIT or UCLA? <laughs> they always land in the middle of a swamp where Bob Buki and his cousin Weenie are out fishing. <laughs> And these two guys can never tell you anything about the UFO. It was big and yellow! <laughs> I mean, you could show these two guys a Buick, they wouldn't know what was happening. <laughs> see, I'd like to see a UFO land in some place like Times Square, right? Nobody'd notice. <laughs> Cab drivers be going, eh, eh, come on, move that thing! <laughs> Old bums be warming their hands, this is nice. <laughs> Yeah. My favorite science fiction show was always Star Trek. I always liked uh, little Scotty, the Scotch guy. Scotty was great, had two lines on Star Trek, said the same thing every week. I can't get no power, sir! <laughs> got no power, left engine! See, if you watch the show regularly, you never saw Scotty with any women on the program. Right, that's because his women always died of Romulan fever or something, you know. <laughs> Consequently, Scotty was so hyper. Imagine Scotty alone with some woman. I can't do it, girl! <laughs> <laughs>